Jessie Draper, the Valley Girl. Valley Girl. What does your company do? Have you ever Googled yourself? Totally. What makes a great entrepreneur? What's your next big idea? Tweeting's like my favorite. Let's talk business. I'm like the Valley Girl. <sighs> Trying to get healthy. Let's talk business with the CEO of Kaiser Permanente. Yum. Go. Healthy. Kaiser Permanente is the largest managed care organization in the U.S. and is comprised of the Kaiser Foundation Health Plan, the Kaiser Foundation Hospitals, and the Permanente Medical Groups. Dr. Robert Pearl is Executive Director and CEO of the Permanente Medical Group. Well, here we are with Robert Pearl of Kaiser Permanente. So welcome to the Valley Girls Show. I'm so excited to have you here. Thanks, Jesse. It's great being here. I understand you're quite the runner. I do run. I've run about 14 marathons. 14? Yeah, I've run Boston and New York. And if I, didn't, if I don't run, I couldn't survive. Oh Running my is great. gosh. Tell me, what does Kaiser Permanente do? <laughs> Kaiser Permanente is actually a set of different organizations. There's the insurance part, the Kaiser Insurance. There's the hospital part, the Kaiser Hospitals. And then there are the Permanente Medical Groups, which deliver the health care to all the physicians, the people in the offices, people who uh, provide the care directly to patients in the hospitals. So the combination of the entire um, health care system is what Kaiser Permanente is. In the business world, we call it vertical integration, but it's uh, complete collaboration, cooperation, technology, and the fact that uh, everyone works together as one provides superior value to our patients. And then what do you do at Kaiser? You're, you're a physician also yourself. I'm a physician, but right now I'm the executive director and CEO of the Permanente Medical Group, which is the Permanente side of that Kaiser Permanente. So I'm responsible for the health care in Northern California of about three and a half million people. Wow. And in the Mid-Atlantic for another That's million people. That's a lot people. of people to take care of. I know. I don't take care of them all personally. I have <laughs> 7,000 physicians in California and another thousand physicians in the Mid-Atlantic and about uh, 35,000 support staff, the nurses, and the technical people, and the receptionists. So it's a very large group of individuals providing care to a lot of patients. How does someone, you know, start working with you? So everyone has training that they go through uh, to provide the care. And then once they arrive, they have to be trained in the technology. We have okay. the world's leading technology, complete electronic medical record. I sometimes joke we should create a museum because <laughs> we don't have paper records. Doctors are going, what's a paper medical record? It doesn't exist in Kaiser Permanente. We don't have x-rays as you, you think no about them. You have no paper records? There's no paper record. That's There's amazing. No, no uh, acetate x-rays. It's all electronic. It's available 24 by 7. You must save so much room because I feel like paper records take up so much room. They take up a huge amount of room, but more importantly, what they do is they uh, delay care. So how do you guys deal with this? At Kaiser. We have the full electronic medical record, which is a lot more things. Number one, it means that we can focus on prevention at every time the patient comes in. So even though you may be seeing a dermatologist, the dermatologist will say, you know, yeah, you need a mammogram. Uh, we have it uh, available to coordinate care for patients who are coming in the hospital and patients who are leaving the hospital. Uh, we have the electronic medical record for medical alerts. Jesse's on a certain medication. Be careful about another medication. She's on a certain medication. She needs laboratory results to be given. The opportunity is electronic medical record for 21st century healthcare. You just can't get the best healthcare today unless your physicians and your hospitals and everyone providing the care on a, is on the same electronic medical record fully linked together. I heard you just came out with an iPhone app. Is that right? We have a couple of iPhone apps. We have an iPhone app that allows people to access their electronic medical record. We also have in Northern California an iPhone app called Prevention that allows people to know all the physicians they're about to see. They can uh, schedule the appointments, cancel the appointments, move the appointments. And what I love it the most about it is we can push out to you alerts. If you have allergies, we can let you know when the pollen count goes up. We can push out to you as much you content and information. You can push out things about the pollen count? That is, that's hysterical and amazing. I'll give you one, one statistic that to me is, is amazing. If every American today got the same care we provide in Kaiser Permanente, there'd be 200,000 fewer heart attacks and strokes every year. 200,000, that's exactly right. So that opportunity to change the health of the nation happens when you work together with the most advanced technology. Because of how preventative you are. Because the focus on prevention, mm -hmm. because of the technology, and the collaboration of people working together. Every point 
Everyone has the same information, the same data. They know who you are. It's all personalized for Jesse. It's not some uh, recommendation for just a woman of your age. It's specific about you, the medications you're on, the diseases you have, the allergies you might have. At every point of contact, it's all exactly the same. And multiple doctors can access your information at the same time and work together as one. That's great. They can great. talk about the problem you have looking at the same x-rays, looking at the same test results, and say, what's the best care for Jesse? That's great. There's an obesity problem in mm -hmm. America. I know you guys are very focused on that as well. And so I thought we should probably not be eating these. I would agree very much. I was going to say, Jesse, I want you to thrive. <laughs> and you know, you look great, but that might be a little bit of a problem. Do you have any alternatives? Yeah, I heard that an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Is that true? Well, an apple day is good for the patient and for the doctor. I'm not sure uh, you want to keep the doctor fully away, but at least you can have the doctor not having to provide the medical care uh, that you otherwise would have if you ate all of that uh, cream sitting in those uh, pastries. That's true. That's very true. Okay. You want an apple? Can I join you? Yeah, please oh, do. Oh, please. Thank you so much. Yes. They've been washed, right? They've been There's washed. There's no pesticide or anything else on no them. No pesticide. They're delicious. Do you like red apples or, or um, green? I actually love red apples. Red Delicious is my favorite. These are fabulous. Really? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I like the ones that are kind of like half red and half green. Do you think it makes any difference health-wise? I'm not. Yeah, I, I, I'm a surgeon who fixes kids with birth defects. <laughs> I'm not really an expert on uh, the nutritional value of each of the apples. I can check for you, though. <laughs> I could probably go on my uh, iPhone right now and check for you and get an answer within a matter of seconds if that would be helpful. Oh, perfect. Healthcare is such an issue in America right now. You know, everyone's trying to just figure out better systems. And what do you think is kind of the future of healthcare right now? Where do you think we're headed? Let me start with where I think we should be headed, which is that there are far better ways to deliver care than is done in most communities of the United States today. Care is best delivered when it's coordinated. Uh, people work together as one. It's best delivered when there's technology so that common information is every place. It's best to live when it focuses on prevention, uh, thrive, the nutrition, uh, wellness type activities. Uh, so all those things have to happen. And technology, to me, is a major, major, major part. Particularly, I think- It's a major part, and it's also just, it's changing everything, which is exciting and new. Now the opportunity exists to deliver care 24 by 7, anywhere in the world. Far better quality, better service, fully coordinated, lower cost. That, I wow. think, is the future of American healthcare. Tell me a little about what you guys are doing with obesity. I know you just teamed up with um, HBO mm -hmm. and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Right. And what are you guys doing with them? So we're working with them. There was a TV show, as you know, on um, the obesity epidemic and on the weight of the nation, it was called. And we're teaming up with them to really encourage people to exercise. Walking is the easiest exercise. Everyone can do walking. I love walking. Yeah. I walk all the time. Yeah. I walk like a couple of miles, you know, almost every other day. One of the things our leaders do in Kaiser Permanente is when they have a meeting, they go out and walk with the people rather than sitting oh, in an office. that's great. Yeah. We have some physicians, by the way, who have these treadmills. That they can, when they're doing their computer, they can be working on the, computer, uh, the treadmill in order to, to uh, generate um, exercise, higher heart rate, oh lower... Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Every in opportunity the in the office. Be, that's amazing. In, in their own, you know, in their, in their, not in the exam room, but in their yeah. office itself. Yeah, the opportunity to understand diet, exercise, relaxation, that's the way you live a healthier life, at our Thrive campaign. So the opportunity to thrive, to have life to its fullest, to be medically as healthy as you can be, but also to have the other parts, the energy, the uh, sense of fulfillment, the sense of wellness, all of that comes together in a healthcare world. That's again what we can do in the 21st century. We couldn't do in the past. Right. But now we have the opportunities to do that and walking, exercise, diet, proper nutrition are all the components that now allow that as the foundation. And guess what? What? They help you avoid diabetes, they help you avoid heart disease, oh, they help you avoid strokes. So it all <laughs> fits together in a really positive way. Do you think healthcare will ever be free? What do you mean by free? Free. You mean the individual's not gonna have to pay for it? Yes, or someone's not gonna pay for it? The individuals are not gonna have to pay for it. Personally, I would like to see healthcare be free. 
because I would like to see people be able to get all the care that they need. Right. Someone that will pay for it. And so the question then becomes, how do you construct the healthcare system to make it affordable for whoever's going to pay? Whether that's going to be a government, whether that's going to be a business. And that's why I think that right now we have to do from a Silicon Valley kind of notion. Yeah is a true transformation of healthcare. I'm really excited to see how everything transforms in the healthcare industry. It's such an exciting time, but I love that. It's just changing and you guys are really, you really are heading it up. It's very exciting. Um, so I have a little game for you. Okay. Are you ready? We'll see. It's called the <laughs> Fabulous Cup. Fab Cup, it's fabulous. Ready, set, go. Briefs are uh, legal legal documents. Healthcare reform is a national agenda. Uh, karaoke is music singing. An app is something that's sitting on your cell phone. Viral is what is a disease. Network is what happens when people link together. Breakthroughs is what happens in new technology. Smarty pants are people who have a uh, right sense of humor. Twitter is a company sitting here in Silicon Valley. Area code is 408. Ultraviolet light is what dermatologists use. High five, awesome. <laughs> That was fast. Oh, thanks. That was a fast one. I have one last question for you, which is, um, what are um, three tips you would give to live a healthier life? The first thing that I would say is to make sure that you do thrive, that you exercise, diet, uh, eat proper foods, relax. The second thing I would say is that you have uh, get the prevention that you need at whatever age you are in the uh, process. And the third I would say is that you have a lot of friends and family because they're the ones that give you the endorphins that allow you then to be able to do the other things in life to feel better about everything. Those are great pieces of advice. Thank you so, so much for doing this. Oh yes, I will. You promise? Yes, I'm gonna go write them down. I'm okay. gonna watch this over and go and write them down and I'm gonna carry with them with me always. I'm gonna check back on you, Jesse. Okay, <laughs> good, do, please okay. do. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, Jesse, it's great to see you. <laughs> good to see you too. I'm like the Valley Girl. I'm like Robert Pearl, the CEO of Kaiser Permanente. And now it's time for your dits moment. Go through.